And that concludes the commercial portion of the Town of Lincoln Real Estate Auction. Settle down, people, settle down. If you looked at our website, you are aware that there are two single family homes up for auction in our small town. Now there are rules that you must agree to if you win one of these homes. All rules will be enforced. I'm going to go over some of the rules before we get to the bidding. First, the buyer must be present. You cannot be a representative for someone else that wants to buy the home. Second, you can only win one house. You cannot purchase both of them. Both of the houses come as is. They haven't been cleaned or emptied. Whatever is in there, whatever condition it is in, it is yours, including any problems you might find. Third, you cannot use this home as a rental property. You agree to live in this home and not rent it or list it as a vacation property on a website. You must live in the home you win for more than six months out of the year. If you are going longer than six months, your home will be repossessed by the town of Lincoln and offered up at auction again. That's not fair. How are you gonna even enforce it? I'm the mayor of Lincoln, son. It's in our bylaws. And it is my duty as mayor to enforce these rules to the best of my abilities. The police chief and the town police department have been enforcing these laws since we started these auctions. Whatever. Fourth, these are cash only deals without any refunds. You have 72 hours to bring the payment to town hall. Otherwise, the deal is null and void and the house will be offered to the next highest bidder. This means that you must pay by Tuesday at 1 p.m. Finally, you're expected to keep this home for two years before you sell it. If you don't, you will not only be hit with the capital gains tax, but you will also owe double that to the town of Lincoln. Oh, come on, man. Sorry, folks. Those are our rules. I've emailed most of you and explained these rules in the email. If you didn't read through the rules thoroughly, I'm sorry that you've come out here today and wasted your time. Well, this works out just fine. Looks like each of you will be going home with a house today. The first home we have up for auction is 617 Abbey Lane. That's the house on the corner lot. We wanted the other one though, right? Right. This one's nice too. Maybe we should bid on it just in case the other couple goes for the one we want. Yeah, good idea. The starting bid for this home is $20,000. The bids will go up in increments of 5,000. Do I have a bid? 20,000. 20,000, do I have 25? 25. 25,000, do I have 30? Do I have 30? 617 Abbey Lane goes to the couple in the aisle. You can make your way out to Lilith in the lobby and she will help you finish your transaction. The last home we have up for auction is 8 Canterbury Court. If the two of you can pay the opening bid in cash, it's yours. The opening bid for eight Canterbury Court is $20,000. Sold. Eight Canterbury Court sold to the pretty blonde and who I imagine is your husband. Why don't the two of you meet me out in the lobby? You're the last bidder of the night and I will take care of you myself.
They sure clean this place up quick, huh? Well, I bet everyone pitched in. It's such a cute little town. Well, now it's our cute little town. <laughs> <clears throat> Hey, um, don't let me interrupt. Uh, Mayor Zagan, it's such a pleasure to meet you. I'm Liam Burkhardt, and this is my wife, Brianna. Please, call me Sam. No need for formalities around here. Uh, soon you'll be part of our little community. We are so <laughs> excited. This is the house we wanted. Really? Yeah, we've been living with Liam's parents since we got married last year. Well, everybody has to start somewhere. This is so perfect. We can't wait to get in. Oh, how soon can we get in? Uh, once payment is made, the keys are yours. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> yes, of course. But I'm sure you don't have $20,000 in cash on you. Well, is there a JM Bank in town? No, but there's one less than 10 minutes away. I think they close at one on Saturdays. Yeah, I'll put it in my GPS and head right over. Thank you. <laughs> Would you mind finishing this deal today? We drove over six hours, so we'd really like to get into the house and figure out what we need to bring when we move in. You two remind me of my parents. <laughs> How's that? Uh, they died when I was a child, but they were so in love. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to darken the mood. They died a long time ago. Uh, I, I, it was meant as a compliment. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, so, uh, about the house. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, I'll be happy to help you with that. Uh, when you're done at the bank, meet me in my office, 13 Main Street. We'll see you there in half an hour. I have the paperwork ready. So what, you thought this was just gonna be a little weekend away, ending in disappointment? You know, time away with you could end disappointment. Uh, I love you. to be then. With them. It, it isn't nice to scare people, you know? Especially strangers. She doesn't like you. What? She doesn't like you. Who? The lady in the bathroom. What bathroom? You'll see. Come on, let's find your parents. I know where they are. Okay, where are they? Hell. I'm calling the police. Stay right there. I'll get you some help. Look at you. You're not even wearing shoes. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hi. I I'm calling from the J M Bank in Highland. There's a little girl here. She's very disturbed. I, I think she's homeless. Ma'am, what is your name? Hello. Is anyone uh, there? Yeah. Yes. I I'm sorry. I seem to be mistaken. Are you all right, ma'am? Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, her parents must have found her. Have a good day.
This is the last of the paperwork. Just sign here saying that you agreed to all the rules I explained to you earlier at the auction. Please initial by each one. You must get a lot of people trying to break the rules. You have no idea. I'm sure house flippers try to get away with buying and selling it. They try, but they never succeed. I wouldn't have that problem with you now, would I? No, of course not. This is a dream house for us. We plan on staying here a really long time. That's right. My company is actually transferring me about 20 miles away to our office in Hamilton so that Bree can get her master's degree. That's wonderful. Uh, have you started already? No, I don't start till the spring, so we can get the house exactly how we want it. What are you getting your master's in? Elementary education. I want to teach kindergarten. We have a wonderful elementary school here in town. When you're ready, I'll put a good word in for you. You mean it? Sure, if you're still here. Why wouldn't we be here? I mean, we love Lincoln. <laughs> hey, you never know, right? Well, I know that we just became owners of our very first house. Uh, that'll do it. Oh, and uh, don't forget this. <laughs> Thank you. Aren't you gonna count it? <laughs> I trust you, Liam. Besides, I know where you live. <laughs> Congratulations, and welcome to Lincoln. Thank you so much. Really, thank you. <laughs> You'll find everything you need in your folder. Contact information, utilities, movers, everything you need. Great. And also, if you need anything else, don't hesitate to reach out to me. You know where I am. I also put my business card in there for you. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> Let me walk you out. Home sweet home. Take a picture with me. Man, I can't believe this is all ours. Ready to go in? <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> our first house. And? Well, I have to carry my bride over the threshold. Liam, we've been married for over a year already. I don't care. It's our first house. <laughs> no electricity. Hmm. Yeah, I'll call the power company first thing Monday morning. Let's take a look around before it gets dark. OK. This is so weird. What? The last people who lived here just left all their photos. They were in a hurry to get out. So many people are just walking away from their homes now. It's so sad. Hey. 
We have nothing to worry about, okay? My contract in Hamilton is for two years. We have no mortgage, no kids. Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Just this big, beautiful house and nothing but potential in front of us. Do you think we should return them? Return what? The photos. Should we look up who used to live here? I don't know, Bree. I mean, maybe they left everything behind on purpose. Yeah, maybe. Come on, let's go look at the kitchen. Ew. Ugh. Looks like they were in a real hurry to leave. Ugh. Who knows what kind of situation they were in. Maybe something really bad happened here. I don't know. It's scary. Kind of sad, actually. Well, first item on the list is to completely clean the kitchen. Yes, agreed. <laughs> I wish we could start now. Well, once we get the power back on, we'll be able to. Yeah, yeah. Want to check it upstairs? Of course. I can't believe this is all ours. You better believe it. All our dreams are coming true. I never thought we'd have a place like this, ever. Really? Oh, I knew we would. Someday. It's almost too good to be true. Hey, don't go jinxing it now, all right? We're gonna turn this place into a palace. Our palace. Our home. I could really see us living here forever, Liam. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's check out the bedroom. Did we know that this was furnished? He said as is, remember? So everything in here is ours? Yeah, I guess. I really don't want to use someone else's furniture, Liam. No, no, of course not. And definitely not their bedding. Bree, I would never expect you to. But, I mean, it is a bit convenient that we have all this furniture in the house already, don't you think? I don't know, it's more that we have to move out. Could always just sell it later. Oh, I don't know. Why not? I mean, we really could use the money. It's bad luck. Let's start fresh. I never thought we would do anything different. But Bree, <laughs> furniture is expensive. And we spent almost every penny we had on this house. Can we just wait, please? Okay. What's wrong? I, I don't know. I'm just, it's just weird. Brianna Burkhardt, please tell me you are not getting cold feet about this. I just gave our savings to the mayor for this place. No, of <laughs> course not. I'm, I'm just overwhelmed. It's a lot to take in. I know. But we're in this together, right? Absolutely. Oh, I think that's the master bathroom. Ooh, let me see. <laughs> Ugh. Ew. Wonder how long this water's been standing here. I hope there isn't an issue with the drain. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Seems to be okay. This is a disaster. It looks like a hurricane blew through it. Well, we'll have it cleaned up in no time. Master bathroom is number two on the list. Agreed. As long as we get the bathroom, kitchen, and bedroom done, we can take our time with everything else. 
and you're sure you still don't want to replace the bedroom furniture right away? Liam, we are getting a new bed. I am not sleeping on someone else's mattress. Okay, okay. I'm just saying it might be nice to use the furniture that we already have in place so that it feels more like a home. But not our home. Of course it is. Not if it's not our furniture. We should pick it up together. Uh, we will, eventually. Problems? I think you promise. We get a new mattress on the first day. Absolutely. Okay. I can live with that. Come on. Let's go see the other rooms. I can't believe this is all ours. <laughs> oh, hey. Post to our picture. More than one trip back to the car, Liam. Look, I know how badly you want to start cleaning. I've waited three days. One hour longer isn't going to kill me. I just want to do what you want, Bree. <laughs> what I want is a new mattress to sleep on tonight. And you'll get it, I promise. I'm not sleeping on someone else's mattress. That's where I draw the line. I know, babe, OK? I've got a plan. A plan? I don't think I like the sound of that. It's a good plan, OK? Just trust me. It's a surprise. OK. Look, just go start in the kitchen, and I'll bring the rest of our things in, OK? We should have got a moving truck. Why? I mean, this saved us a few hundred dollars. And I mean, we really don't have that much stuff. Just clothes and shoes and. So we aren't in college anymore. You are. Liam, <laughs> you know what I mean. I know what you mean. Look, it saved us a little bit of money. I mean. We spent our entire nest egg on this house. As we should have. It's our nest, isn't it? Oh, well, when you put it like that. You know? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'm going to go start cleaning the kitchen. Let me know if you need any help. I will. What is? Well, how did you do that? Do what? Get outside so fast. What are you talking about? I haven't even been inside yet. The door was shut. I left it open. It must have swung shut or something. Well, was the door to the kitchen unlocked? How am I supposed to know? I don't like you jumping out and scaring me like that. Like what? The wind must have closed the door. OK, Liam. Whatever. 
Do you need anything else? Bree, calm down, okay? It's our first day in the new house. Let's try and enjoy it. Then don't scare me. Okay, I won't. Thank you. You're making a lot of progress. It's amazing how fast things go when you just throw stuff out. Well, you aren't even keeping the dishes? Not the dirty ones. Why not? We can just clean them. Liam, we've got that china from Aunt Margaret from our wedding. Mom's shipping it with all the other wedding gifts. Oh, that's gonna be expensive. Why can't we just drive back and pick everything up? It'll be the same amount of money in gas. Why are you worrying so much about money? I can't help it, okay? There's not much money left in the bank, so... I feel like our safety net's gone. Well, at least you start work next week. But if it's too much for me to go back to school, I can put it off. No, no, of course not. I'm just being overly cautious, okay? You sure? Absolutely. Hey, come here. No, I'm gross. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll stop, okay? I'm just really anxious and overwhelmed. I'll stop stressing out about money. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's it? <laughs> That's all I get? <laughs> You'll get more tonight, as long as we get that new mattress. <clears throat> On it. Hey, I'll be back. I'm gonna go pick up the mattress. They can't deliver? Sure, if you want to wait seven to ten business days. I'll get my purse. No, 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 it's okay. I can do it myself. They're just going to tie it to the roof of the car. Are you sure? Absolutely. I'll be back in less than an hour. Okay, well, I'm almost done with the kitchen. I just got to clean out the fridge. Do you need any help? No, I'll be fine. Promise? Thank you, promise. You go get that mattress. Yes, ma'am. Trash out for me? Do it yourself. Liam. Liam! Liam! Hey! 
What is wrong with you? I've always wanted to say that. You picked up lunch? You're the best. Yeah, there's a pizzeria about a mile away. Nice. Hey, let's eat and then we can bring the mattress in. Sounds good. Wow. You did an amazing job. Thank you. It still smells kind of funny. We can just get some candles. I already ordered some. They'll be here tomorrow. Okay, great. I also ordered some groceries. We could have just gone to the store, you know? Check things out. There's too much to do around here, Liam. Don't you want to be comfy on our first night? Hey, I'm comfy wherever you are. That's a nice change. From what? Your attitude from before. What are you talking about? I'm sorry I was nagging you about the new mattress. But you didn't have to be so mean. Bree, I don't need... You know what? Clean slate. Let's eat and get the mattress, and then we can start on the upstairs. Perfect. To our new home. Cheers. What do you think? I think it's perfect, just like you. Thank you. For what? For cleaning the kitchen. I know it was a lot of work for you to do the entire thing on your own. Believe me, I was happy to. Really? Yes, the kitchen was the worst. I would have gotten nuts if it hadn't been done. Now on to the bathroom. <laughs> I actually started the bathroom. Really? Look at you, Susie Homemaker. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, groceries, finally. Hey, I tell you what, you go put away the groceries and I'll finish up in the bathroom, okay? Oh, that'd be great. Coming! Thank you. I thought you were putting away the groceries. <laughs> oh, hey now. A little old for hickeys, right? Hey. <laughs> Bree, seriously, come on. I can't go into work with marks on my neck. <laughs> You okay? Uh, do you need anything? I'm fine. Done with the bathroom yet? Oh, right, the bathroom. Uh, almost! Oh, come on. Hey, hey I thought you said you started on the bathroom! What? Nothing!
surprise for you. Really? A surprise? Yes. Keep your eyes closed, okay? Okay. Liam? In here. Not done yet, babe. Just ten more minutes. Bree. Bree. Yeah, I said ten more minutes. That long? I'll make the wait worth your while. Okay. You okay in there? Bree? 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 I can understand why you're upset, Mr. Burkhardt. But I don't know how I can help you, though. I agree. Maybe she fell asleep and had a nightmare in the bath. It is a logical explanation. If you want me to send someone in the morning, I'd be happy to. Are you sure? Well, if you change your mind, I'll make a call. You too. Everything okay? Perfect. Right on schedule. Now, where were we? Ooh, look at you. Do I look okay? You look more than okay. You look like a CEO. Well, I'm not there. Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> you sure you're gonna be okay here all by yourself today? Of course. 
You're not still hung up on finding the former owners, are you? I just want to make sure they don't want their pictures back. Pictures are priceless. You got such a big heart, Bree. Thank you. I just know I would want them to send my pictures back, you know? Yeah, yeah. I get it. Have a great day at work, honey. I love you so much. Love you too. Hi there. Uh, my name's Brianna Burkhart. I'm trying to get in touch with Doris Yanito. I'm sorry. Who is this? Brianna Burkhart. I bought Doris's old house on Canterbury Court. How did you get this number? From an emergency contact form. I was calling to see if she wanted to pick up all her belongings. No. I'm sorry. You wasted your time. I don't mind sending them to her. Well. That would be a little difficult, seeing as she died six months ago. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. Do you want me to send everything to you? No, thank you. We're still grappling with her suicide. You can just throw everything out. Even the pictures? Especially the pictures. I'm so sorry. Did you say suicide? Sadly, yes. It was less than a month after she bought the house. Did you do any research on the house before you bought it? Well, no. We wanted it an auction. So did she. Good luck with your home. I hope you have better luck than she did. Thank you. I I'm so sorry for your loss. How was your day? Much better now that I'm home with my wife. <laughs> oh no, that bad? No, no, not at all. I just enjoyed this past week of spending time with you and getting the house together. I was just thinking about you all day. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> so go wash up, dinner's almost ready. Yeah, everyone's really nice. I need some pictures from my office, though. It's really bare. You can use the pictures I didn't hang up in the hallway. 
Oh, I meant to tell you how good it looks. Thank you. What'd you do with the rest of the pictures? I threw them out. Really? Yeah, why? I thought you were gonna try and look up the former owners. I did. Really? How? Well, I went and got the mail and I was able to figure out the password to the computer. Get out! That's fantastic! I guess. You guess? You have a new desktop computer. <laughs> I'll just wipe it and get you all set up for your classes. Unless she wanted everything back. Actually, she's dead. <laughs> dead? Yeah, I spoke with her sister. She killed herself. Here? I, I don't know. I, I searched online. I couldn't find any info. Isn't that something they should have disclosed? I think they should have, but there's nothing they can do now. No refunds, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> She's not the only one that committed suicide here. What? Here, look. What is this? Something I found. Murder-suicide, 1980. Yes, it took place in our house. A woman came home and found her husband cheating and killed him and his mistress. Their 10-year-old son came home from school and found their bodies. Wow, that's dark. You have no idea. The kid was adopted and went straight back into the system. I wonder what happened to him. I don't know. Uh, apparently his mom stole 80 grand from her job to start their life over with, but killed herself instead. Wow. Yeah. You don't think we should move, do you? And lose our life savings? No way. Maybe we should talk to Sam. <laughs> what good would it do? It makes sense to keep it and at least make some money off it while we live here. But we can save enough money before we list it. You know, in case other people do their homework better than we did. Yeah, good idea. You still want new furniture? Liam, <laughs> of course. Oh, okay, okay. But I can keep the computer. Talking to. Liam? What happened to all these glasses? You threw them at me. What? You were standing right there and you threw them at me. Babe, I was upstairs working on the computer in the office, like I said. You hated me. You said you wished I was dead. Bree, I would never say anything like that to you. Come here, I love you. You're standing right there, Liam. You said those things. You threw those glasses. Brianna, I would never, ever say or do anything to hurt you like that, ever. You're my wife, my life. I love you so much. Listen, I, I don't know what happened, okay? I was upstairs, and then I heard you talking, and then crashing, and then I came downstairs. It wasn't me, okay? 
promise? A pinky promise. Okay. Hey, maybe this house is so cheap because it was haunted. Don't you say that! Okay, okay. Help me clean up the kitchen, will you? Of course. Bree!
Bree. Bree. Did you see a cushion by the bed? Good morning to you, too. The cushion, where is it? Wow, I didn't know you had a sentimental attachment to a cushion. Stop kidding around, okay? Where is the cushion? I threw it out. It was filthy. What? It's in the trash outside. No, no, no! Liam! What has gotten into you? Nothing. Why are you so angry? Just don't touch my stuff, Bree, okay? Your stuff? It's an old, dirty pillow that I've never seen before. I thought it was trash. Next time, ask before you throw something out. You said we could get rid of everything. Why do we have to get rid of everything right away? Why can't you just be happy with everything that we have here? Liam. I just don't understand why we can't take advantage of everything that we have here until we have enough money in the bank to replace it all. I said we could! But you're pressuring me! I am? Yes! You drop hints, and you mention, and you nag every single thing about at least one thing, and... I'm doing the best I can, okay? Sorry, I didn't realize I was putting that much pressure on you. Well, you are. Okay, I'm sorry. I won't anymore. Thank you. Hey, I'm going out. I'll be back in an hour. Where are you going? To run an errand. You want me to come with you? I'm almost done baking your favorite cake. Black Forest? Of course. No, that's OK. Uh, you stay here. I'll be quick. Well, where are you going? To town. With your cushion? Yeah. Should I be jealous? This cushion is going to change our lives. It's a cushion, Liam. Is there something inside? Let me see. I'll tell you everything as soon as I get back, OK? OK. Well, why don't you pick up a bottle of white wine on your way home? Or we'll make us a nice dinner. Yeah, sure, OK. I'm really sorry that I didn't talk to you before I threw it out. I I had a really bad dream last night, and I couldn't sleep. I just started cleaning. You should have woken me up. No. I was too embarrassed. Why? Because I was sleepwalking, and I woke up in the bathtub in my pajamas. You can always wake me up, Bree, especially if you're having a nightmare. You're always safe with me. I know, but... No buts. Okay? I'm always here for you. Can I get you a coffee? No. It's too late for coffee. Besides, I need to get to the bank before it closes at 1. You better hurry, then. Yeah. You shouldn't have let me sleep so late. You were tired. You needed it. I'll be back. I love you.
you take care of everything? Are you still mad at me? I'm making chicken pot pie for dinner. What are you doing? I never loved you. What are you talking about? I hate you. Damn. Put the knife down. I'm better off without you. Yeah. Stop! You deserve Stop. to die! What happened? Are you hurt? Wh what? Are you hurt? No, he, he didn't get me. I didn't get you? What are you talking about? Who did this? You did. I literally just came home. You did? Bree, you're scaring me, okay? Do you need to go to the hospital? No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> What happened? I was cooking. And? And you came in and tried to stab me. Bree, I would never do that. But you did. Bree, I went to the bank and the liquor store and then I came right home. You did? Hey, come here, come here, come here. Sit down, sit down. Hey. I think I'm going crazy. Hey, maybe you should see someone. Uh, maybe. I'll see what's covered on our insurance. Okay. Listen, why don't you go lie down and I'll clean up down here. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm gonna lie down. You want me to help you upstairs? No, I'm okay. I'm gonna lay down. I'll come up after I clean.
Where do you want to go? I don't care. Anywhere. Away. Far away. Listen, Bree, you've been locked up in this house for two weeks. Of course, you're seeing things. I'm not seeing things. She was there. Who? The woman. What woman? You didn't see her? All right, Bree, you're scaring me. Do I need to take you to the hospital? Are they gonna lock me up? What? Of course not. Bam, they lock up crazy people. You're not crazy. Look, you're tired, you're stressed, you're overworked. And me being gone all day and you being cooped up in this house doesn't help, I'm sure. I guess. Here's what we're gonna do, all right? Let's go out tonight. Maybe shopping? We can get a new bedroom set, or a living room set, or both. We can pick out whatever you want, okay? And then we'll go to dinner, and then come home. Oh no, the cake. I got it out of the oven already. This night is about making you feel relaxed, okay? Okay, maybe you're right. I love you so much, Brianna. You're gonna be okay. If I'm not. In sickness and in health, remember? I'm not going anywhere, okay? Thank you. Come on. Yeah. Have you been in there the whole time? Of course. Okay. Almost done. You okay? Yeah, I think so. You ready to go up? Yeah. Come on.
Bree! Bree, talk to me! Where are you? Okay, for good. Come on, come on. some rules that you must agree to if you win one of these homes. All the rules will be enforced. I'm going to briefly go over some of the rules before we get started on the bidding. First, the buyer must be present. You cannot be representative for someone else who wants to buy the home. Second, you can only win one house. You cannot purchase both of them. Both of the houses come as is. They haven't been cleaned or emptied. Whatever is in there, whatever condition it is in, it is yours, including any problems you might find. <laughs> 